Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. If uh, you are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary, and I am Mary. Now, <laughs> y'all know I love you, right? Y'all know I love you. I must love you to do what I am about to do. Not only did I purchase probably my most hated scent from Bath & Body Works. Well, no, there's another one that takes the top spot, and that's Kaleidoscope. I've never been a fan of that sucker. She smells like, I, can't, I just can't with that one. I can't. This one, though, is right up there next to it, and I have not purchased her in many years. I recently picked it up in a haul. I think it was like $4.95 sale, because, baby, I sure as hell wasn't paying full price for this crap. But I bought it because a lot of y'all have been asking me to do an actual review and comparison on this scent. So, out of my love for you, I'm doing it. And it is Japanese Cherry Blossom, y'all. Yep, Japanese cherry blossom. <sighs> yeah, uh, this scent has not changed, in my opinion, in a very long time. Um, I've never really liked her ever since she first came out, but I will explain why. Scent notes are Japanese cherry blossom, Asian pear, fresh mimosa petals, white jasmine, and blushing sandalwood. Now listen, I ain't going to throw shade or hate on none of y'all out there that actually like JCB. I don't, hey, everybody likes what they like. Me personally, this just makes me think of old church ladies. The church ladies with the gum that's like ripped in half, the stick gum ripped in half in the bottom of their purse, and the candies that look like they've been in there for at least a decade. Those ladies, you know who I'm talking about. Yes, because it's so freaking powdery. And it's powdery to the point that I don't even, even I don't like. I love me a good powdery perfume or a good fragrance. This takes powdery to a whole new level. Yeah, that level. Way up there, baby. Powdery in the sky. High as apple pie. That's what this is. Like, I mean, I don't even pick up the Asian pear in it. I wish I did. What I mostly get is a very, very powdery cherry blossom note. There's a little bit of jasmine in there, but it's not heavy enough for me to actually like this. And they say sandalwood, and y'all know me, if you've been watching me for a long time, I love some sandalwood. I love me some sandalwood. I'm not picking it up in here. Do you guys pick up sandalwood in there? I'm really curious, before you go any further, drop a comment down below. First of all, let me know if you like JCB, or if you hate her, and if you like her, I want to know, do you actually pick up that sandalwood note? I'm very curious about this. Very, very curious about this. And I'm especially curious your age, if you like this. I'm very, very, I, I'm just, just for research purposes, humor your girl a little bit. Humor your girl. I know my, my clothing today does not match the packaging, but your girl's feeling a little summery, summery, like I'm getting ready after this video, I'm going to need a drink. I'm going to need a drink for even have to do this video. So I'm ready to feel it and feel the vibe. Yeah, what you like I said, mostly very, very powdery cherry blossom with the teeniest bits of more floral in the background. That they're, they're not even discernible floral notes to me anyway, to me. But if you like something super powdery like that, we will do a comparison. One I actually saw, this is a while back, when this scent that I'm about to compare it to first came out, I saw this, and I was kind of like, because I love this scent personally, this next one, but I don't like JCB, and it was Sapphire Moon. Yeah, Sapphire Moon, which has scent notes of sparkling pear, sheer freesia, and moonlit musk. And here you definitely get the pear. I pick up a pear note. I also pick up a very beautifully done freesia. It is not overwhelming. It's not a huge, like, bam, in your face freesia, which I love me some freesia, but sometimes it can be too potent in a scent. And the musk in here is done just right. Not to mention the fact, I don't consider this powdery. Do you guys consider this powdery, those of you who have had Sapphire Moon? Do you... You think it's powdery? Yeah, I don't get a powdery note. Oh, God, I hate even smelling this. 
It almost smells like this shampoo that I remember my grandmother having in her her house when I was a little kid back in the 80s. It kind of reminds me of that shampoo, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Yeah, you, but this is definitely not that. So I don't know why this person, I think they were trying to say, if I remember correctly, that it was powdery, but I don't think this is powdery, baby. No. Now this one, I had to laugh a little, but I, I can understand it a little bit. They were comparing it to one in a million. Yes, one in a million, which has scent notes of jasmine extract, tuberose oil, white gardenia, pink pepper, and cashmere musk. She's strong as hell, I will say that. I want to say this spot it was from 2022. The tuberose in here is so heavy to me. Uh, along with the gardenia more than anything else. But I think, again, I think this comparison predominantly was because it's a floral scent. And I'm not, I, I want you guys to understand, when I do a lot of these reviews and comparisons, and I mention what another content creator has said it smells like, I do a lot of it in humor and in good fun. I'm not, that's why I never name the name of the content creator. I never say where you can exactly find, like, this is their name on this platform. Because I know that every nose is different. I understand that. But for the majority of us who smell one thing and maybe the other 20% that smell something else, to us, it's comical when a person suggests one scent smells like the other, when they're like nothing alike, at least in our opinion. So I just want to say that because I have seen a couple comments from y'all lately like, oh my God, you're so mean. I'm like, oh my God, boo, you missed the whole point of this video, didn't you, honey? Didn't you? Didn't you? It's supposed to give you a little laugh. Damn. Lighten up, girl. Shit. Yeah, but this one has, like, beautiful florals in it, whereas this, again, is a powdery, powdery, powdery floral. Like, very powdery. This is strong. Like, it's strong and, and, and can come across offensive to some people, especially people who already don't like JCB. I've heard a lot of them say that they don't like one in a million. Me, personally, I do because of that tuberose, but I'm also a fan of tuberose. So if you're not... You see where I'm going with this. Another one I saw was Night Blooming Jasmine. Yep, I do have a nice little healthy dent in her, so that should tell you something. Scent notes are Jasmine Flower, White Musk, and Apple Blossom. Oh my God, the Apple Blossom in here is gorgeous. And the Jasmine is actually done perfectly. The jasmine is done so well, it almost comes across as a little bit lilac, but it's jasmine. Now, again, I think the person who was saying this simply took the fact that they're both florals and slapped them together like, well, they have to smell similar because they're both florals. No, they're not. Like, every floral note has a different, comes across differently. Rose is very, very different from tuberose. Carnations are very, very different from lily. They're very, very different scent notes all across the board. And I really wish some of the newer, like, just getting into the game content creators, would I encourage you, if you are a content creator and you're doing these re reviews and comparisons to really expand your nasal palate, so to speak, so that you can really start telling a difference between these specific notes. I have had a lifelong love of fragrance, so my sniffer is a little more trained over the last 25, 30 years. Baby, I'm 45 years old, so I, I put in some work in this game. You know what I mean? But um, it, this is not, it's not this. It's just not, it's not. Yeah, it's not, it's not. The jasmine is done beautifully in here and it's a beautiful soft floral. It's not, it is strong, but it's soft. It's not like screechy, if, if is what I mean to say. 
this just, yeah, I, I can't, I can't. Now, the last one, I'm, I, I want to compare it to this. I did not see this compared anywhere else, but I did th start thinking about the powderiness factor because I do know there is a real big powdery note in Luminous. There is a powdery note in this one I'm about to show you. And some powdery notes can come across beautifully. And one of them for me was Chasing Fireflies. Chasing Fireflies most definitely has a powdery note. And I imagine a lot of people who did not like this for that powdery note probably did not like this either. This was a hit or miss with a lot of people. Uh, I was not one of the people who got the bug spray note. I got the beautiful notes, which are Golden Pear, Jasmine Blooms, and Illuminated Woods. I just talked about this scent recently in another comparison video. She just screams end of summer to me, like lazy summer evenings where the sun's just setting and it's starting to cool down just a little bit and the fireflies are just coming out and you can really smell like evening in the air along with the floral if you're like in an area that has a lot of flowers. To me, this makes me think of my grandmother's when I was a child in the evening, because she lived in the hills of West Virginia, baby. The hills. I mean, she ran the post office out her kitchen. The hills. The hills. Yeah. And this, for whatever reason, makes me think of that. Sitting on the back porch and rockers and just the smell of the air and the lightning bugs. And she had flowers everywhere. So this, to me, is more, I think, more of a nostalgia thing. But I love it. And the powderiness in here is... Not like this old lady powder note. I can't explain it. In here, it really makes me think of that really loose setting powder that CoverGirl used to make. That's what it is. The big loose setting powder by CoverGirl that I remember my grandmother used to wear it way back in the day, like in the 80s. That's how long this has been out. And it, it was just, it had this distinct odor to it. And it was almost like after she came out of the bathroom, like getting ready for church, I remember it would just be like flying in the air, the loose powder, and it would choke you. It would choke you out as a child. And you'd be in there, and she'd be combing your hair, and you're like choking, trying to breathe. You match that with all the aquanet she had in her hair. And it was just like a recipe for disaster, I think. So the nostalgia of the back porch is one thing, but that bathroom on a Sunday morning was definitely not. Uh, it was a whole other thing. Yeah, and that's what it makes me think of in a way. I, I just... Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's almost like I can't breathe. It's weird. But the powder note in here is not screechy. At least not to my nose. What did you think? Now, I, what's really interesting to know, too, is if you love one but hate the other of these. I definitely want to know. I definitely want to know. But, uh, yeah, y'all. You know I love you if I did this review. But I hope it was helpful for some of you out there. If you hated it, you can tell me that too, honey. You ain't going to hurt my feelings. Uh, but yeah, but you guys know what to do. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you learn it every single time your girl uploads. And I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.